I'm Ace Hart, an entrepreneur, cannabis lover, and tech doer. And give some good I like tech turned TBH. If you're a winner and follow my Instagram, you see I usually get dragged into some adventure. It usually starts with a bang. In this case, three. Oh, and sometimes it's running. crazy woman. You should have told me you wanted a bullet wound before we got married. <laughs> to having to hold? My mantra. Repeat over and over. A dangerous crazy woman is a safe woman. Do you think we can go to a hospital Repeat. or something? So a dangerous crazy woman is a safe woman. Oh, a dangerous crazy man. A great teddy bear. Oh, right. No, come I mean, all these jobs on this one, I get shot? Can't you see I'm green with envy? I thought that was the eggs I made this morning. I mean, if I could give this to you, I would. Just because I love you so much. But do you think we can go to a drive-thru or something so I can get some, you know, napkins? Our day <laughs> kit is under the seat. Bandages, scissors, even your non-allergy pink. Wait, 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 wait. You, you thought we might get shot? I was hoping for a graze. A sexy one. Nothing serious, mind you, just a perfect little scar, like from dueling. You're always so prepared. You're my little girl scout. Oh. Maybe later. But now you have a story to tell her. I love bedtime stories. Stealing my car? I'm just kidding. <laughs> you guys don't look like thieves. We stole each other's hearts. Does that count? Yeah, we just saw the cover on the ground and we decided to put it back on. Oh, well, good deeds show good character. Does that run? Yeah, it sure does. Uncle's got the owner's manual and everything. I'm impressed. I'm Ginger, and your name is. Kidding? Well, if he's impressed, I can be kidding. <laughs> Fred. Fred and Ginger. Mm -hmm. You guys gotta have a dance routine. Well, that depends if you prefer tango, <laughs> flamenco, or even disco. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what, not you? Two left feet. I dance, I make a full circle. Mm. But I feel like I've been dancing all day. Mm -hmm. Oh, shoot. Uh, coming, Aunt Meredith. Can't have burning poppers, can we? <laughs> Depends on who's popping who. Guys, come on. Everyone's almost here. Come on in. in. Jeffrey had a hop at once to get her four cousin in jail for bootlegging, and it was quite a scandal. 
are those diamonds. And very nice ones that will always belong to you and stay in your family. <laughs> Heard so much about you from Ace. Oh, Ace? Ace, and you're just as beautiful as he says. Oh, <laughs> well, <laughs> he does. Meredith, my dear, restroom. Oh, uh, into the hall. Meredith, <laughs> your buns are burning. Uh, oh, thanks. I didn't catch your name. I didn't give it. Do you want the carrot or the carrot stick? <laughs> Excuse me? To get somebody to do something, you use either the carrot or a stick. But well, who named the carrot? A carrot stick. The mule. Then they'd get a carrot no matter what. <laughs> Just like Uncle Fester on the Adams family. Distant relative? <clears throat> Not unless money's involved. Poor Jackie Coogan. Uh, he was Uncle Fester, you know? Well, his parents swindled him out of all of his childhood income. Thieves. Hate him. Oh, well, my name is Ginger. Ginger. Caught it earlier. And Fred, mm -hmm. Ginger Rogers and Fred Astaire makes you two very memorable. You know, do you know who admired Fred Astaire? Mm. Jackie Chan. Shot all of his fight scenes just like Fred Astaire. <laughs> well, B.A., that means before Astaire, <laughs> they shot movie dancing, you know, with close-ups and cuts, just all stitched together. But Fred Astaire, well, he shot wide and in one take so that his audience felt like they were really a part of it. Hmm. So that's why Jackie Chan does those long fight scenes with all the ladders and buckets and stuffed bears and things. That guy really takes a beating. Yeah. Broke his ankle, so they made a cast that looked like a shoe. He kept working. That guy has got a work ethic. <laughs> I wish the young people of today had that. Usually have to to get what you want. And Jackie Chan's an opera singer. 20 albums, biggest foreign singer in Japan. And only two things that scare Jackie a needle and public speaking. Well, surprise my innards. <laughs> <laughs> really? Imagine that. Guess he won't be giving the opening speech at a sewing convention. <laughs> Specially made tea. So, you're named after the dancer, the drink of the room. Mm. Well, Mr. Wikipedia, I'd rule out ginger ale, but not ginger beer, knowing my mom, and? The root. Ginger root. It's an herb that helps with travel sickness, nausea, indigestion, excessive flatulence, that's farting. Oh, she nausea. knows that. I hope Sorry. I wasn't. I, I hope I wasn't named for an organic flatulence and nausea inhibitor. 
It could have been morning sickness. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she was thinking of Ginger Rogers. Well, Fred, tell us who she was named after. Was it the dancer, a spice, or a drink? Tell us, tell us the truth like you were in front of a jury. Uh, can I plead the fifth? <laughs> Confidentiality, it's right between the spicy and the drinky. Every time I take a taste, it's like pickled ginger. Tart and intoxicating. I like him. I'm going to go with Ginger <laughs> Rogers because she had many hidden talents. She painted, sculpted, loved the outdoors. She was a crack shot. Remember that. Mm. <laughs> well, aren't you two a couple of scrappy lovebirds? <laughs> Out causing trouble to no end. <laughs> she knows us to no end. <laughs> I'm Betty. Fred. Uh, Meredith, who are we waiting for? Harrison. Oh, he's the money guy. And the smokers out back. No matter what, some protocols never change. If you smoke, no matter how green, you're exiled like a farting dog. They need dog food enhanced with ginger. I will exile myself and bum a smoke. Aren't you the outgoing fella? Never gonna be the Ingo and Flella ever again. You guys got a smoke? Preference? Uh, actually, I was talking about cigarettes. <laughs> oh, wait. A oh, <laughs> I thought I was out. <laughs> Just stay downwind. Ours is natural. That's like a lighting up an oil slick and inhaling. Don't they say better living through chemistry? Uh, okay. Downwind. Right. Um, uh, you bring any? Um, I... Gosh. I'll take that as a no. Kind of like when I ask somebody if they want to go into the house and fix the uh, broken sewage line. Either I fake a heart attack, or they pay me to do it. You would fake a heart attack to get paid. And you don't fake anything on the internet to make money? I'm there with you, fella. I mean, if I do the dirty work, then proper pay, huh? Oh, oh, no thanks. I uh, want to keep a clear head in case there's any trouble. <laughs> no trouble? Oh, math. Uh, and marijuana math is worse. Clear mind makes uh, clear decisions. Mm. Clearly. <laughs> you get that? We got it. A two-year-old would get it. Friggin' egghead. A suit so, uh, so formal, so establishment. Would you say that to a venture capital investor? I mean, I wanted to err on the side of, you know, not knowing. I didn't want to be underdressed. Um, I mean, perhaps if maybe my suit were made out of hemp, that would be better, of course, and then I could just light up my threads and get really stoned. Ooh, Hollywood meets new age hippie. He hears you. He gets stoned. And he's not sure where the volume control is. Sorry, sorry. My world consists of jeans and t-shirts. And that world is? Coders, app developers, sleep under the desk types. Mm. All those I paid crazy money for poser, college, and still need a job types. Yeah, no girlfriend, no bills, uh, no shower. Mm. Young people need practical skills these days. Mm. Plumbing, electrical. They can't stay off their phones. Grommet Plumbing. Walter, I think it's very impractical that I worked on phone software. Who is it? <laughs> Don't you? <laughs> Piss off. Piss off. <laughs> oh, um, hey, how do I block a call? <laughs> 
uh, press that number right there. So, uh, what's your handle? Oh, um, I'm in banking. Transactional. Like online banking? More like a personal service. I relieve people of the burdens of handling cash. An independent contractor? Every day I'm not in jail. <laughs> God, I hate paying taxes at the end of the year. Mm. For government bureaucrats to take two-hour lunches and spend time on Facebook? No thanks. But as work, it's rewarding. It's good to enjoy your work. I worked for the fire department for 42 years. <laughs> Wish I had your job. Well, every day is an adventure. Hey, sorry I'm late. No traffic. Just a client who couldn't stop talking. Oh. Harrison. Fred. Hi, Harry. Ah, oh, you know I hate that. Of course I do. Good to know, Wally. That means I'm number one. Get you two know each other. Oh, yes. He's a plumber, and I'm a tax accountant. Mm. We both deal in raw sewage. On that, we both agree. <laughs> Gene, I'm, uh, I'm OG, <laughs> original geek. Um, set up? Ah, uh, maybe after I do some number crunching, the weed and math goes together like cats and dogs. Woof, woof. Uh, that would constitute a positive uh, profit avoidance. Yeah. Oh, I know you're all waiting for the big cheese, and here it is. Mmm. Whoa, jeez, I mean, you know, that actually has morphine compounds known as casomorphins that, that actually connect to the opiate receptors in the brain, all right? Very addictive, and it really is hard to resist. You know what? I think I am going to start Cheese Addicts Anonymous. Take the green cheese. <laughs> Hands off, or I'm going to shoot you all. <laughs> Unless I shoot you first. <laughs> 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 a bunch of times. And uh, Fred, what, what area do you work in? Uh, world uh, group funding, uh, mostly, you know, small groups, uh, usually just my wife and I, Ginger. <laughs> uh, you pretty good at that? Like breaking into an ATM. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. mm. <sighs> the king of polynomials and sexy prime numbers. Say cheese. What a friggin' cheese. He seems a funny fella, for sure. Uh, that don't cut it when he's doing your taxes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess you guys, yeah, I better go in. Um, huh? Huh? Uh, hmm. Now these are just a mock-up. And it's okay if we mock it. <laughs> <laughs> she is a crazy woman. Ah, uh, yes, she's my dangerous crazy woman, this one. <laughs> we just need a slogan. Correct the mood, though. <sighs> Very inventive and green. Uh, are these your real teeth, or, or did you Photoshop? Oh, those are some dazzling ivories. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, just need to take a couple bong rips and then... Wham! We are on the freeway to Creative City. Who's got ideas? For cannabis? How about how green is my valley, huh? That was a movie, 1941. No movie exists before Pulp Fiction. Oh, okay, tough crowd. <laughs> oh. Investment seminar. Why don't we do like a round robin for names and backgrounds? And then Why maybe don't you give us a brief overview so then we can respond with the most relevant context about our personal attributes. 
to make us a better team. <laughs> great idea. <laughs> Just a great idea. Don't you think so, Harrison? Hmm? Uh, well, I... And you second the motion. A second. Fantastic. I... <laughs> Harrison's wonderful presentation is up. Let's go. I wasn't ready, but uh, okay, okay. You can do it. Okay. Um, let me switch over the input. What we're looking at is a multi-billion dollar industry wow. with enormous growth potential. Pun intended. <laughs> Radio Ace. In this growth area, Colorado has seen its tax receipts increase dramatically. The Colorado Department of Revenue has stated that its income from marijuana had pushed well past one billion dollars. Wow. Yeah. I mean, the first year of revenue was 692 point million. Wow. Second year, 996.2 million. That's a 42% growth factor. That is growing like a weed. Yeah. <laughs> and our mission, if you can decide to accept, is to create a new car delivery service. But it's a twist. Car delivery? We deliver food and cannabis. Mm. So it's three delivery systems. Yeah. Cannabis along with the munchies. So you don't need to leave the house, <laughs> ever. <laughs> well, Our new potential brand name, Weed and Feed. Oh. Crunched and munched. <laughs> Sweet meat. How about stoned and boned? <laughs> okay. Grass and ass. Uh, no, that's a very different delivery. <laughs> Appeal to the Viking stoners. Weed and mead. Oh, oh, I've got it. Delivery, alcohol, and cannabis. Weed, mead, and feed. Yes. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, uh, round Robin. <laughs> Harrison Dostoevsky. Hi, Harrison. Hi. <laughs> like the novelist? Crime and Punishment. You ever read it? I live it. Dostoevsky. What the <laughs> hell? Uh, now that is going to be a sitch. Audience, uh, what, what, are you adopted? No, uh, my parents were. What? Okay, so um, I'm an accountant, <clears throat> uh, number cruncher, <clears throat> cannabis impresario. Oh, man, I just saw my line. Oh, that gentle nudge, guys. Let's just get around the circle. <laughs> Retired fire officer, <laughs> lieutenant. Uh, we train like our lives are in danger. Me too. Don't I always say that, my love? Spirit and deed. Yeah. How about that? You used to put out fires? No. And, and now I get people to light them. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to make a little extra income in retirement. Cancer survivor, DBC use. I put out fires, and, and now I want to be a cannabis arse, uh, arsonist. Arsonist. That's <laughs> it. Uh, you know, I don't know that these California pensions are going to be there mm -hmm. uh, yeah. because of the idiots that run our state. So. There you go. <laughs> I'm sorry, what's your name again? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, my name is Betty Lester, Betty Fester. Uh, like Betty. Uncle Fester. You're right. You are such a rocket scientist. Okay. <clears throat> Hello, I'm Walter. Walter Hi, Gromit. Hi, Hi, Walmart. Hi. You're still number one, Harriet. <laughs> I'm a plumber. Now this guy asks me to lay out the PVC set all, uh, setting for his grow. I got intrigued. I think there's great potential to make a lot of money. 
which means I won't have to crawl under houses anymore. Mm. Uh. Yeah. Ace Hardman, entrepreneur, tech innovator, sometimes musician. Nice to meet you. <laughs> well, I'm Meredith, your hostess, and um, you know, I'm just looking for a way to make more money. And I'm very interested to hear all of your opinions. Gene Kismet, uh, tech, coding, and proud geek. Absent cannabis are going to unlock the world, and I'm going to find it too. Hmm. Oh, Ginger, um, I'm looking for a new angle of avenue to take uh, make money. From Decatur, Georgia, originally, oh. Oh. now to go to USC, go Trojans. I um, I like Jackie Chan movies. Yes. <laughs> Eventually, I want to open my own combination hardware store and bakery. Oh. Pipes for pipes, right? Oh, and um, meet new fun friends. <laughs> oh, Fred. Um, you know, I'm just sick and tired of the corporate world. It's just highway robbery. Mm. And uh, went to Folsom State. Up, where is that? Up north. Prison to me. Ah, <laughs> 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 you're killing me. <laughs> you're funny, Patty. Uh, really funny. Um, uh, at any rate, I uh, while I was there, I learned a lot about sales and negotiations, and as well as saw firsthand how oppressive the corporate business world can be, especially in regards to to growth and, and opportunity. And uh, really there embrace the entrepreneurial spirit of, uh, and to find the need and, and, and ultimately supply it. Mm. Mm -hmm. well, that's our job, right? Mm. Okay, so um, I have some data here I'm gonna pass around, um, or I could send you a PDF. Just, yeah. just mail yeah. me a friend out. Okay. But, uh, in other news, Greece has stopped using the euro as currency. It has switched to using shots of ouzo as payment. They just need to be careful not to drink all the profits. Like our profits going up as smoke. No, we want smoking profits. In local news, an alarm went off at Strontium Corporation, catching sight of these two individuals. The two alleged suspects jumped into a Ford Escape and, well, made their escape. Wonder what would have happened with a probe. They remain unidentified and at large. Strontium Corporation deals with international money exchanges and cash shipments to large public custom industries with high cash volumes. This international business has been a hub for investigations. In an unusual twist to the story, Strontium Corporation said nothing was actually stolen from the company. And cash shipments to large public custom industries with high cash volumes. This international business a robbery, a nothing stolen. Better karma for the corporation, you think? Hey, Fred, wasn't that car cover on the old Volkswagen? And did you hit? What is going on? What is this? I know my presentation was a little off, but you two are going overboard. You're used to people pulling guns on you? They do people's taxes. It's highway robbery for a living. They're the robbers. Wait, what? That company. Strontium Corporation. According to the Strontium Corporation. Nothing was stolen. I think that... I was just trying to say... Quiet! That we should... I, I, I'm just trying to figure this out. Seems there's a glass ceiling in the criminal underworld, too. Hashtag, me to criminal. Just shut up! You know, just because we're hostages doesn't mean that you can't show some manners. Not shooting you shows some manners. Can we agree on that? Uh -huh. Show of hands. Okay. Very good. Thank you for your cooperation. Hate plumbers. Uh, for once it's not me. Good for you, girl. <laughs> Be assertive. In, in, in a non-violent way, I mean. OK. 
okay, okay. Is there anything else you want to say? You don't have to talk to me like that, especially in front of the hostages. He got shot this morning, and it's been a little testy. I hate it when that happens. Really? I didn't think you was. I thought you were kind of charming. You know, when I get testy, I tend to tweet nasty things to people, then have to hide under my desk to apologize. I don't think I was testy at all. Huh? Show of hands. Huh? Who thinks I was not testy? Hmm? Hmm. I think you were testy. Show of hands. Who thinks he was testy? Well, you um, know, you, with you waving that gun back and forth, it's kind of skewing the poll results. I'm, I'm just saying. Yeah, it's like poll packing a CNN. OK, that's enough. Oh, gosh, sorry, sorry. Um, OK, <laughs> everybody just calm down. Huh? OK. Calm down. Ginger has the floor. Schnookums. Teddy bear. <clears throat> I propose we collect all of their cell phones and their IDs. What? Well, have... IDs, oh. huh? Then are you gonna gather their mother's maiden name and credit cards? No, I'm gonna collect their IDs and mail them to our partner. So if any of them tries to escape, oh. he'll know where to find them. <laughs> if any of them tries to escape or rat us out. That's the dangerous crazy woman I love. Mm. Oh. Oh. So nice to see the lovebird criminals make up. You know, thank you, Betty, so much for pointing that out earlier and allowing me to let Ginger have her say. Huh? Now you heard the lady, huh? Jeez. Hand over your IDs and your phones, huh? Hurry up! Come on. Come on. Don't have all day. There you go. You have three phones? It's the entrepreneur DNA. It's Angeles, one's for Florida, and one is for the Bahamas. You have a Bahamas number. And keep the Bahamas one to yourself, it's a tax thing. Hmm, cool. Envelopes, stamps. You're gonna mail our phones? No, we're gonna keep the phones here, just the IDs. I don't know, we're gonna put them somewhere, the microwave. Oh. <gasps> it's shielded. You won't be able to get any calls. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe in. <gasps> Breathe out. Good. How come everybody points their guns at me? It's your loving personality. If any of you tries anything, I'm gonna zap your Chinese slave labor products. Everybody understand? Yes? Um, can I have the option of maybe getting shot before you zap in my phone? Are you crazy? What, all those contacts versus the cat phone? I'm just weighing my options. Stamps! Envelopes! Yeah, they're in the hutch, right there in the kitchen. Ginger is definitely an innovator. In her own way. I mean, you guys would appreciate her entrepreneurial feeling way. Like the IRS, <laughs> but without the offices and line dancing. You know what I mean? Uh, we can open up a business. Maybe call it Society for the Creative Acquisition of Money. Scam for short. <laughs> All my stamps, which is <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> it's, it's fine. <clears throat> <laughs>
Or it's me. Good call. And tell her if she wants to be a hostage, it's still pot luck. <sighs> call her back. Oh, okay. And put it on speaker. Speaker. On speaker. 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 Oh, hi, Nikki. Speaker. Speaker. Hi, Nikki. Where are you? Oh, um, I'm in the bathroom. So how goes your wee party? Gives me meaning to the word pot luck, huh? Ha, 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 ha. And it's not much luck. They call it cannabis nowadays, anyway. <laughs> not when we were at Fifth Row Led Zeppelin. Reefer, pot, gang, dope, herb, blunt. Mary Jane, stink weed, bud, skunk, blaze. <laughs> it's like weed jeopardy. Texas tea, Maui, Wowie, Thai stick, Colombo, Panama gold. <laughs> Nikki, stop, stop, stop. Nothing sobers you up like popping off three kids. I bet you got some real characters to show up. Oh, you could say that. Like the fat ass crack plumber dude. Oh no, <laughs> no, Walter. He he's here. He's he's a very nice man. He's pleasantly plump. I mean, he he's not. It's really just you know. Yeah, that kid Ace, is he there? Uh huh. You got eyes on him, you cougar, with that cute ass of his. He and his ass are here. Are you him right now? Oh, God, I wish I were. You know who? No, listen, Nicole, I'm, I, I asked you for your baking tray, but I don't need it anymore. I've got it all handled, so you don't need to come here anymore, okay? Yes, but I think this tray actually makes better brownies. Brownies? But Ace is in the bathroom with you, but you're talking. Is he giving you... No, 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 no. Just because he's Jim's nephew and not mine doesn't make that make it okay for me to, to... Well, I mean, you know, it actually wouldn't hurt to look at the menu. And just... Wait, you're confusing me. Wait, what the were you saying? It's not cheap metal, but Swedish Teflon or oh, no, no. Okay. No, no, everything is handled, Nikki, okay? Understand? Okay, 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 geez. Smoke some weed and chill, geez. Oh, oh, Nikki, Nikki. Oh, yes. Did you rob anybody today? I'm a lawyer. Of course I did. Uh, did you hear any more about the man and the woman who robbed the bank? Like it was matter with your own personal sheriff. How do you know it was a man and woman? I... Well, I, um... Oh, I was thinking about Bonnie and Clyde because I saw the movie last week. Or it could be Ten Munchkins, for all I know, like in The Wizard of Oz, or little tiny people with little tiny guns making little tiny moving feet get away. <laughs> hey, uh, Nikki, I've got some stuff on the stove. Can I call you back? Well, of course. I hope. No, Nikki. <laughs> Talk to you later. Okay, bye. Now, if you will excuse me, I'm going to go find some rope to hang myself. I got some in the truck. I can move my uh, not so overweight, pleasantly plump ass and get it for you. Your ass or your head? <laughs> Same thing. If you two could just shoot me now, I would really appreciate it. <sighs> hey, Ace, can I drop box you some of my fat so I can have a cute ass too? Meredith, it's not that bad. I am well aware of Pooh's attraction to someone like myself. Anybody want to hear some butt crack jokes? Oh my God. About that plumber talking out of his ass? <laughs> about 20 Put minutes. Put that in a pipe and smoke it. In about 20 minutes, I am not going to give a damn. Quiet. Quiet. Okay, what does she mean by your own personal sheriff? And he's at work? Well, he works the night shift, and he's asleep in that back room. I checked those rooms. There was no one in it. I feel that men are very good at disappearing acts. Yeah, like four years. Oh, where are you going? Well, uh, just out of habit, I was checking to make sure that he was still asleep. Wait here. Don't go to him. Hurt him. Hurt him. I don't want to see him. I'm going to crush him. I've got a bond over a basket of buffalo wings. What? What the hell was that? Oh, that was my bun cake. Is it chocolate? Yes. Oh, that's my sneak. <laughs> Are we going to turn it off? Oh, okay, okay,
watch them. Because we're a dangerous group of cannabis users. Uh, medical marijuana adherence. Those words matter. Yeah? We'll try this one on. In our current situation, we're screwed. Protest hit me in the neck with a peace sign. Oh. Aspirin, water, tequila. Oh. <gasps> oh, you still take my breath away. It's not gonna be safe. Oh, uh, silly. Go to bed. I'll bring you some. <laughs> okay, good night. Give him the aspirin. Slip a sleeping pill into the water. He sleeps, will he? We will all go back to Cannabis Happy Land. Hmm? Plan, Ginger. Running you? On the one hand, not feeding you? On the other hand, feeding you? I vote for letting us go. I mean, if we get a vote. <laughs> Shoot all of us? Seven? You really want that hate? You're bluffing. Oh, maybe. And if you're not bluffing, shoot her first. Accountability. Okay, look. I don't want to shoot anyone, but I figure it's just like a TV show. Just pull the trigger, huh? Well, yeah, but what kind of TV show? I mean, if he's thinking Magnum P.I., it might just be a, a grazing wound. But if he's thinking Law and Order, we could get killed. He's got a gun. Isn't that enough? Well, it sounds like movie moment delusion syndrome. Hmm? How many characters on TV freak out about weapons? And then, later in the plot, they suddenly know where the safety is, and how to cycle the weapon, and how to deal with, I don't know, stovepipe malfunction drills. Mm. Movie moment delusion syndrome. Mm. Drives me crazy. So, um, what kind of cop TV do you guys watch? Well, I'm partial to Brooklyn Nine-Nine myself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I watch Hawaii Five-O, and anything by Sam Peckinpah and Michael Mann. What does that mean? Fred will hesitate. Ginger will shoot us dead. Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. That's not true. W want me to prove it? No. Huh? You don't have to prove anything to me, Kitty. Where? I know your gun works. TMI. <laughs> Here's our plan. If one of you runs away somehow, then the others will pay the price. Yeah, pay the price, huh? You don't strike me as violent felons. He's not. He's very considerate. Open stores, gives me flowers. Oh, great. A considerate kidnapper. It's simple. We want to spend our cut on pointless getaways for far-off futures. Our partners use their cut to bribe politicians and more. Use your imagination. Mess with their ill-gotten gains, 
and accept the knock. And they're Russian mafia. Oh, crap. Why, oh, crap? Well, they're violent. Uh, the Black Buck? Why, they'll sing Kumbaya and torch your house just to make a point. Okay, everyone is getting way too nervous, all right? So everyone's gonna follow like Meredith. Hey, you got any more of those samples, huh? Eat up! Uh, indica or sativa? You know, I'm not sure. No! Oh, okay. Remember, I like Dan <laughs> Did I ever tell you I thought Saw was a comedy? <laughs> <laughs> It's like I can't breathe. Hey, hey, are you okay? I think I'm overdosing. Nobody's ever overdosed on cannabis. On Earth, yeah, but what about on Mars? I think I'm on Mars. Nowhere in the universe. Domed, turned, baked, blazed, lit, blistered. Plunder. <laughs> Fried. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> you taste good. <laughs> Thanks. I've uh, been told I'm vanilla bean. I think I barred somebody else's head. Does it look good on me? Yes. You got the right size. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know, she could really use some fresh air. Gene! Discovering my genome. <laughs> Gene! Discovering my genome. I found a thread. It'll lead to a major discovery. Great to do this. Search about the search. Search about the search. That's funny. Can I search about how to search for the search? Let me see. Okay. Let's get you into a chair. No, 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 no. I can't handle the altitude. I want to lie down. I will become one with the earth. <laughs> Woohoo! Nice and easy. Oh, <laughs> those are such nice clouds. I think I see my mother's face. There. There it is. Oh. Oh, Mom. <laughs> the only way she's escaping is if she gets launched into space. Well, call Elon what's his name, a volunteer. You don't seem particularly frightened or stoned. Well, that's a millennial skill. Frightened, though? 
A little mail scheme in there was pretty clever. Create leverage through worry. <laughs> it's like when you're last semester in high school. You're already in, so nobody gives a crap. When we can leave, we will. Trying to get me stoned. Just acting like a good hostage. Mm. But it's all a growing business now. Farms, dispensaries, deliveries. Mm -hmm. A couple years. It'd be bigger than pizza. I want to have more dough than Pillsbury. I'm not talking about flour. In my day, you had to know a guy who knew a guy. It's all cash now. Federal banking laws. No weed deposits. See you green out there. <laughs> the earth <laughs> really is flat. how they turn on their headlights. You're sitting on a sofa in a living room. Bunch of wipers. Let me turn those down for you. Thank you. Thank you. You ordered a large, right? Yeah, root beer. Stick shift. Did you have it in neutral? First. Yeah, no. To the right? Don't confuse me. Cops. Oh. If I could create plumbing out of yarn, I could make a fortune. Yarn pipe. Yipe. Parn. Hmm. Yes? Just to be clear, I'd, I'm a hostage, right? Yes, technically you are. It's from my autobiography. In case I wind up dead. Well, at least I was in an alternate universe. This isn't clear. I am seriously worried for your entire generation. Ace. Meredith is looking a little down. Cheer her up. Stand up and show her that nice ass of yours. I bet I'm still number one. I don't think I'm hallucinating, but I'm seeing your ass on your shoulders. This is some good shit. Under a cover? An assassin like Bourne who, who, who's gonna break down the door and maybe give me a disease? You don't really need to be paranoid. It's just a postal worker. Okay? That's what they do. They put on someone else's uniforms and then they go postal!
Just sign your life away. What am I signing? I have a package a for you. Document? Yes, it's legal. My pen? Oh my God. What? You work for the government. Oh my. That's what I thought. That pen is an NSA device. NSA maybe. Nobody is safe anymore. What you got? What's that? Check this out. Oh, Christmas, so many lights, such joy and cutting. What say you, a wise one, scissors? What the hell was that? I have no idea, but they respond to a combination of Tid Latin, Yoda, and infomercials. Hmm. It's like gathering a herd of cats on with a can of tuna. And that is like salmon to them. I hope so. Or all life on Earth would perish. I'm gonna go water. I see the total nanotransmitters and genetically modified food. Oh, I have one. I'm gonna carry you in my bag. <clears throat> Well, let me just move my hefty ass out of your way. That's not really fair, you know. You keep needling Meredith, when in fact we actually did eavesdrop on her private conversation. I'm having a tough time taking morality lessons from a bank robber. What makes you think it was a bank? Perhaps I did a rodeo circuit on a bunch of ATM machines. It was the Strontium Corporation. Found an obscure thread from an employee, cross-indexed through links. An incident, but nothing about a robbery. Nothing's going, but you two keep looking at each other. So it was cash. Stolen money. You mean the IRS? No, oh, that's legally stolen money. Strontium deals with currency exchange. Lots of cash. Lots of cash. Mm -hmm. Wait, 
like cannabis. Cash? All of it? You think those guys with the Kevlar vests and pistols out front just rejected Walmart greeters? Since the Russian supplies the lead. You get the money. Art. Join us. It's kind of beautiful in its own way. Kind of weird. Sharing beautiful moments with my kidnapper? Technically, kidnapping occurs when any person is unlawfully and non-consensually moved and held for certain purposes as a ransom or reward, none requested. Two, facilitating the commission of a felony or a flight after the commission of a felony. We didn't even break the speed limit. Three, terrorizing or inflicting bodily injury on the victim or a third person. Weed is harmless, or you guys all would be in a lot of trouble. What the hell's going on out here? You didn't jump in the cracker barrel, did you? I need to check this. I'm making cannabis angels, like water in the Grand Canyon, in four point. Two million years, I too will create a great and beautiful impression on the earth. 4.2 million years, huh? Be sure to bring your sunscreen and snacks. Jeez. <laughs> the grade. It's not like she's going to cauterize it with a red-hot sword or anything. Well, you don't really know her. I'm going to use the blood in first-person shooter game. <laughs> Can I start the game over? Oh, come on, Gene. Outside. You need to. Fresh air. Oh. Hey! Uh, outside or stay in where he might you know, tangle with with the toilet, cross, <coughs> cookie, or do the technicolor yarn. All right, Harrison, you can help Gene outside. I think Harrison's okay. All right, gotcha. I swear, I won't let the back of Flamingo get him. I promise. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, the rain! The rain makes me feel and great. I'm Just... gonna make it rain! That's great. Just... I can help you with that. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? We made it rain. Yeah, we did make it rain. That was, uh, that was quite a hike. Us geeks are usually indoor creatures. It's only 97 feet. Oh, how about this fence? We could go and make a run for it. Dude, climbing and running way up there? It's like five feet. 
Some Russians will kill us for four feet. Now we can go get witness protection, new identity. I could be a Jake. Nobody screws uh, with a name like Jake. I mean, oh, with a name like Jake, I probably have to own a club. I like clubs. Strip clubs, MMA clubs, mass club, dress club. You can't have that nose. That's a, not a Jake nose. No? Oh, what are you going to do with those? Show me your nose. Huh? Oh, which, which part? Actually, no, no, not the left. I'm going to take a little, little bit off the right. Okay. Glory oh. sake! I did it! <laughs> This isn't considered aiding and abetting a criminal, is it? I mean, technically? And I always wondered if abetting has to do with gambling. I don't think so. And I could say he was bleeding, and that I didn't want him bleeding all over my travertine. And I think that it is defensible in court Preserve Italian marble. Maybe in an Italian court. Or would you be saying it in Italian? Oh. Um, you got something. Uh, let me help you with that. Next time there, Suzanne. Ginger! 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 Fresh air. They need to burn some creative energy. They can make a break for it. Into the stratosphere? I got a plan. All right. Get everybody outside and listen to Ace. I'm off to Hawaii. Aloha. Witness protection can get you like yesterday's newspaper. What's the newspaper? <laughs> okay, right. It's like a, a bad movie. Sounds like a documentary. Ooh, ooh. Harrison and Jean's last days. Our date with the Russian axe murderer. Huh? Why did you have to give him a mask? Why not a gun with a silencer? I should sneak over that fence and rescue us. You leave me here alone? I'll be back. What's the odds I see it? I should smack you in the head and make a little blood and make my escape. Or I could smack you with a brick and say you tried to escape and cultivate favor with the kidnappers. Oh, and just so everybody likes what I did, I'm going to tell them all you try to rat us out to the IRS. You will get zero sympathy. I like that idea. Just stay still. I'm trying to cut your nose. Uh, Make sure it's right. Okay, hold on. Okay. Just stay still. Alright. Just stay here. Alright. I'm afraid. Okay. I'm gonna make you look like Jake. Everyone's feeling a little buzzed. Oh, Indeed. Turf Fried and frizzled. <laughs> <laughs> well, cannabis is a C word. Hmm? 
What other words that begin with C can we think of? Can, can I use um, profanity? Sure. I'm thinking creativity. So I want everyone to pick their favorite character and favorite form of expression and do it. <laughs> Let's have fun. <laughs> he said, have fun. No. Um. Tahiti <laughs> How's that? <sighs> yeah, that takes too much off the tip. Again. Hello. Ah! Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. You didn't scare Actually, us? Actually, you did scare us. Okay. Uh, if I was in touch with my inner feelings, then yes, you did scare us. I mean, only insofar as we didn't see you, and then you were there. Uh, so, naturally, we reacted to why we didn't see you. With you suddenly being there. So, hence I scared you. No. Want the plumbing from Moscow to Vladivostok? Build the pipes in the trees, Babushka. Yeah. Are you friends of Merida? What do you mean by that? That she lives here and that you would know her? You don't know who Meredith is. Uh, of course we know who Meredith is. We're just more business associates. Oh, business. What kind of business? Business? What do you mean by that? I have to explain business to you? What are you both like, genuine idiots? <laughs> As in genuine, do you mean real or verifiable? <laughs> Sir, I have four degrees. Stanford, Yale, Princeton, and UCLA. And apparently not a hass hat full of common sense. Because apparently you don't know what being scared friends or business means. It's entirely alien concepts to you. That <laughs> I <laughs> love aliens. That makes sense. <laughs> yeah, it does, doesn't it? <laughs> oh my gosh. I, oh no? I can't see. So? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, I love you because you first loved me. Grazie. Buona notte, everybody. Thank you for coming. So you're saying that we can't really know anything in this universe because the... the epistemological devolution of knowledge. My God, what does that mean? I know something because I, I believe it. I, I can see it and I, I, I feel it. Wittgenstein. Just my point. Hey, Leafman, what do you think? Of course I am. I wonder if humans ever had sex with plants. Oh, Rule 35. Hello, I'm Ginger. I'm facilitating a creative brainstorming experiment. Uh, seems like these two are missing their brains. I uh, thought they were friends of Meredith until they didn't know what their word friend meant. Maybe they should watch the TV show Friends. Uh, 
Yeah, we could get them some baby applesauce and maybe a drool bib for that one. Mm -hmm. That's our next exercise, getting in touch with our inner child. He's a software engineer and he's an accountant. Hey, stop all spam. I get like Russian hooker signups and dysfunctional, erectile dysfunctional all-nighter coffee. And you, stop with all the questions nobody understands. It's all a con job and everybody knows it. Anyway, now you two, fix it. Get out of here. I thought speech was strangely empowering. Keep going. Stop. 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 You contacting the cops? Because I will shoot your thumbs off so fast, you'll be typing with your nose for the rest of your life, huh? What? Well, share it with the class, almighty geek meister. You stole money from a company that makes sensor systems for my ranch nuclear weapons program. You're getting the inside scoop from the Russian mafia now. Keep in pride, I think your Russian partners are going to take the dough. They're going to kill you both Ooh. and serve you up to the Iranians on a bed of baba ghanoush for abject and tedious torture in the desert. Nothing can kill in the desert. So that's why they gave us the job? A short-term contract. Very short. Oh. Oh! Okay, that was an important moment between you two, which could affect all of us. I kind of missed it. You want to summarize? Excuse me. Robbery, betrayal, nuclear? Gene connected the dots so fast, I'm still digesting it. Well, too faster. There's lives at stake. Does anyone have a ding dong? That's right. If Fred and Ginger go down, we all go down. If the IRS get one of us to squeal, then it'll be a whole killing field of bacon and plant sex. This is a terrible fight. What? Well, Never went into a burning building when I didn't know my partner. Mm. You've got to take a temperature of their metal. Coming from the not-so-usual civil servant, milk toast type, but rather a caustic <sighs> individual that always tells the truth, that really says something. Thank you. I, I, I think... Oh, Betty. You remind me of my grandmother. That <sighs> double dealing horse. In that case, you remind me of Ginger's grandmother. Stabbing you in the back, just like yelling at Silicon Valley. IRS. Terrible, maître D. Plumbing wholesalers. Deceitful cannabis sellers. Well, we're not dead yet. And I've got a plan. Here's the deal. We fund your cannabis adventure. You keep all the profits. Cash in, profits out. And all your IDs were mailed to a P.O. box that I can get to first. So I hear you guys start up a business. I mail them back. Oh, that's a deal. Oy vey. <laughs> no harm, no foul. Green money buying green products. Oh, my dead tax returns. I'd rather put a fire out with my face. No can do, bro. It's bad for my street cred. Suck on galvanized pipe, why don't you? Sorry, that's plumber speak for. I don't think so. Zero one zero zero one 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 zero zero one zero zero one 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 one. That's binary language. I need. Ain't no 
can do it. It's not possible. So much for the carrot. Now the stick. You want a deduction? Fuck, okay. We put it down on the medicinal. Hell with the love affair with my boss. Suppliers of all organized crime coming through. I always wanted to be a dog group. The guy got hammered worse than the drunk hockey player. I don't know. What happened to my clothes? When you get caught, this phone becomes evidence. So Jack upend it to the cloud. That has nothing to do with me. Which is permanent public evidence. I love it when you're downright sneaky snookums. But you love my titty nail. So, we fund the cannabis business. Agreed? Now we're cooking. Zero one zero one one zero zero one. Zero one zero 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 one zero one. Zero one zero one zero zero one one. Yes. Turn on the tap. Fire away. Lid is ready. I'm your ace in the hole. Hey, I'm your little man. So, a call to clients who worked at a news station and... The FBI has started an investigation into Strontium Corporation technological sales into Iran's nuclear weapons program. Good. Okay. How are we doing? To track police searches and voice recognition and police scanners for database. Get it to, okay. It's uh, just like uh, Fred is there. Oh! 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 Oh my god. Oh. All right, somebody call an ambulance. Oh. Oh. All I ever wanted, Jim was to be with a friend when I go. It's okay, Walter, it's okay. Be that friend, Jim. Oh, oh, oh. All right, somebody call an ambulance. No, no ambulance. No. Stay with me, Jim. It's a hell of a grip, Walter. Uh, okay. Well, I'm okay. desperate. It's okay, Walter, it's okay. Be that friend, Jim. Okay, it's okay. Okay. <laughs> Lasagna. Oh, and uh, <laughs> next time I get high, I will remember you. Oh, yeah. thank you. You all were the best cocktails I've ever had. 
Well, nobody really wants to be held hostage. Sometimes we're actually hostages of our own making. We don't take a risk or get far too afraid to push the envelope and try something new. Sometimes it's better to appear the fool, bet on yourself, than bet on somebody else who you think is a sure thing. The one sure thing about betting on yourself, when you win, you win big. Even if you don't light up a bong, cannabis might be a metaphor new things come up all the time. Sometimes, you just have to jump into the flames. Yeah, I, I just had to try to just go. Listen, I hated this guy. I had one hell of a love affair with my boss. I, mean, I, I can remember standing on the table singing. I had on my clothes. I always wanted to be a dog room. Embellishing tax returns. Now that's part of my service. Pliers of all organized crime coming through. Russia and Ukraine and Mexico. He was. <laughs> if they'd opened that calendar with his body, you'd have to come up with a whole new definition of spontaneous combustion. Thank you. 